Beauties and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustle TV. Today we are back with another video and today's hair is provided by Love Me Hair. Now Love Me Hair sent over a nice little package. They gave me of course a nice little reward and welcome card. Also a cute little quote inside the thing. They gave me their hair bag, a wig cap, a silicone like wig gripper. Of course you get the information card and they gave me this HD 13 by 4 water wave wig and a knot already came pre-bleached so that was perfect and the lace is HD so y'all know we love an HD unit and today I will be installing this wig on my brand ambassador and we will be doing a part down the middle with two butterfly braids and some soft crimps right now this look is a trending style so i said you know what let me go ahead and do it for youtube just in case you don't know how to create the butterfly uh, butterfly braid but it is so simple and so easy so first and foremost we're going to go ahead and get started by applying the foundation in the inside of the lace and for her skin tone guys i am using palette level nine and i'm using the lightest shade in that palette and I just applied it on the inside and on the top of that lace. And now I'm just putting the wig on her head, making sure it fits nice and snug. And then I will cut the extra lace and begin to lay down my layers. Now, after applying all of my layers of glue and it's turned clear, I went ahead and placed that wig down and I'm just blow drying that lace in with some heat from my blow dryer and I'm just combing the lace in and just working my way from side to side and then I'm going to go ahead and secure and tie this down with the melt band and off camera I did go ahead and sew down the wig. And I did go ahead and pre-part uh, the wig down the middle. But now I'm just going to go in with the eyebrow razor and just razor off all of the extra lace. And once I get that extra lace off and I finish cleaning up my part, I will go ahead and pull down the section for the baby hairs.
and as you can see the hairline is giving super natural and we are ready to start section off our baby hairs so we're just gonna do it nice cute and simple i'm going to do the sideburn baby hairs and of course the temple baby hairs and then i'm just gonna go ahead and do that on both sides and prep my sections for where the braid is going to be so because this is a full parting space um 13 by 4 we do have full parting from ear to ear so i'm able to create like two uh square sections at the top which would be where my braids like the hair would be for my braids and then the rest of the hair we're just gonna leave it down because we're gonna crimp that um with the crimper later on in this install but i'm just gonna section those baby hairs um create my two sections for my braids and you know sleep those up using the hot comb and a wax stick and just pretty much getting it prepped for braid for the braid down So as you can see, I created my sections. The part that's down will be down. The part that I have pulled up will be for my braid. So that's why I'm getting that area nice and sleek with the wax stick and the hot comb. And I'm just kind of like pinning it out of the way. So now that I have everything sectioned off, what I'm going to do is spray the hairline with that holding spray. Tie it down and, um, you know, just let it you know melt in for our full melting process and then we will get into um you know doing the baby hairs and you know the braids and all of that coming up next
So while that melt belt is doing its job, melting that lace in, I'm just gonna go ahead and start braiding up my braided sections. So I already have everything smooth and sleek from sectioning off and like pre-prepping it. So now what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and add a little holding spray, which I use the even holding spray, and just continue to do my braid. And I did, it's a regular braid that you start off with. You wanna do your regular braid nice and tight and as neat as possible, because once I finish braiding everything up, afterwards and you know secure the end with the rubber band i will stretch the braid out and it's best to start off with a nice solid foundation nice and firm so you can stretch it out and it can still be like messy but neat at the same time so um i'm just gonna braid this down braid the other side make sure it's as symmetrical as possible and then i'm just gonna secure it with the clip until i go in with my rubber band and you know get into the whole stretching it out to make it the butterfly braid And after completing uh, completing both braids, I'm just making sure everything is nice and neat because we are going to stretch this out and we still want it to be like a well neatly put together style. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove the melt band and just quickly do my soups for the baby hairs. And then after I do the baby hairs, I will go ahead and secure the braids with the rubber band and begin to stretch them out to make them butterfly braids.
now that my baby hairs are complete, I'm just going to go ahead and go in with that same foundation palette and begin to seal up the parts, uh, conceal up the parts just to make everything nice and bold and look super clean and neat. So I'm just applying that foundation into all the parting areas just to give it a nice, clean, bold look and to really make the parting stand out. So that's what I'm doing just all around here. Nice little curved parts, nice little bust, uh, nice little bust down. Um, and everything like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the rubber bands and start our butterfly braid, um, which is pretty much just stretching a braid out. And when you create your butterfly braid, you just really wanna start from the bottom and just hold each side of the braid and just pull it out so it can stretch out. And you will see that it will create like this little looped um, type of effect where the braid is like, goes it goes from like really tight to really like flat and butterfly-ish like butterfly wings like it's super super cute and it is a trending style right now so um all you're doing is just pulling the braid out basically like just stretching it out making it you know flat pulling it pulling it and the ends should get looser and loopier and more like butterfly wings and i just do that from the bottom all the way to the top and i just work my way up until i get my desired width and look for my butterfly braid. And I'm just going to repeat the same thing to the other side, just stretching the braid out. And you want to go all the way up, even towards the root of the braid, and just continue to pull and stretch everything out so it looks super pretty. And once I'm done with that, I just will go in with my crimper and crimp the top layer of the wig. The wig is a 26-inch water wave pattern, so crimps is like the perfect a tool to use to get your water waves like really waving so i did go in with my bed head a wave we go crimping iron and wave that hair up and it just topped this style off completely and gave it a nice little pretty girly look so stay tuned for the finishing look
And do y'all see how the soft crimps topped off the look? This is super pretty, um, very girly, and I'm just going back in and concealing a little bit more, like where the baby hair area is, to make that part stand out a little bit more. It kind of curves up. But I absolutely love this look. Like I mentioned, it is trending right now. I see it all over my social media. Everybody doing the two butterfly braids with the little hook baby hair at the top. And I just overall love this look. Thank you, Love Me Hair, for sending me this bomb HD lace wig. Don't forget to check out the description details down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. And here is the final video. Bye.